Russian, Russian Azik, tr, Ruski Yazik, is an East Slavic language, which is official in Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan, as well as being widely spoken throughout Eastern Europe, the Baltic states, the Caucasus and Central Asia. It was the de facto language of the Soviet Union until its dissolution on 25 December 1991. Russian belongs to the family of Indo European languages, one of the four living members of the East Slavic languages, and part of the larger Balto Slavic branch. Written examples of Old East Slavonic are attested from the 10th century onward. It is the most widely spoken of the Slavic languages and the largest native language in Europe, with 144 million speakers in Russia, Ukraine and Belarus. Russian is the eighth most spoken language in the world by number of native speakers and the seventh by total number of speakers. The language is one of the six official languages of the United Nations. Russian is also the third most widespread language on the Internet after English and German, respectively. Russian distinguishes between consonant phonemes with palatal secondary articulation and those without, the so called soft and hard sounds. Almost every consonant has a hard or a soft counterpart, and the distinction is a prominent feature of the language. Another important aspect is the reduction of unstressed vowels. Stress, which is unpredictable, is not normally indicated orthographically though an optional acute accent may be used to mark stress, such as to distinguish between homographic words, for example zamic, zamic meaning a lock and zamic, zamic meaning a castle, or to indicate the proper pronunciation of uncommon words or names. Classification <laughs> 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 Russian is an East Slavic language of the wider Indo-European family. It is a lineal descendant of the language used in Kievan Rus, a loose conglomerate of East Slavic tribes from the late 9th to the mid-13th centuries. From the point of view of spoken language, its closest relatives are Ukrainian, Belarusian, and Russian, the other three languages in the East Slavic languages. In many places in eastern and southern Ukraine and throughout Belarus, these languages are spoken interchangeably, and in certain areas traditional bilingualism resulted in language mixtures such as Serzhik in eastern Ukraine and Trazianka in Belarus. An East Slavic Old Novgorod dialect, although vanished during the 15th or 16th century, is sometimes considered to have played a significant role in the formation of modern Russian. Also Russian has notable lexical similarities with Bulgarian due to a common Church Slavonic influence on both languages, as well as because of later interaction in the 19th and 20th centuries, although Bulgarian grammar differs markedly from Russian. In the 19th century in Russia until 1917, the language was often called Great Russian to distinguish it from Belarusian, then called White Russian, and Ukrainian, then called Little Russian. The vocabulary mainly abstract and literary words, principles of word formations, and, to some extent, inflections and literary style of Russian have been also influenced by Church Slavonic, a developed and partly Russified form of the South Slavic Old Church Slavonic language used by the Russian Orthodox Church. However, the East Slavic forms have tended to be used exclusively in the various dialects that are experiencing a rapid decline. In some cases, both the East Slavic and the Church Slavonic forms are in use, with many different meanings. For details, see Russian phonology and history of the Russian language. Over the course of centuries, the vocabulary and literary style of Russian have also been influenced by Western and Central European languages such as Greek, Latin, Polish, Dutch, German, French, Italian and English, and to a lesser extent the languages to the south and the east, Uralic, Turkic, Persian, and Arabic, as well as Hebrew. According to the Defense Language Institute in Monterey, California, Russian is classified as a level 3 language in terms of learning difficulty for native English speakers, requiring approximately one 1,100 hours of immersion instruction to achieve intermediate fluency. It is also regarded by the United States intelligence community as a hard target language, due to both its difficulty to master for English speakers and its critical role in U.S. world policy. Standard Russian the standard form of Russian is generally regarded as the modern Russian literary language 
Savremenij Ruskij Literaturnija it arose in the beginning of the 18th century with the modernization reforms of the Russian state under the rule of Peter the Great, and developed from the Moscow middle or Central Russian dialect substratum under the influence of some of the previous century's Russian chancellery language. Mikhail Lomonosov first compiled a normalizing grammar book in 1755, in 1783 the Russian Academy's first explanatory Russian dictionary appeared. During the end of the 18th and 19th centuries, a period known as the Golden Age, the grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation of the Russian language was stabilized and standardized, and it became the nationwide literary language. Meanwhile, Russia's world famous literature flourished. Until the 20th century, the language's spoken form was the language of only the upper noble classes and urban population, as Russian peasants from the countryside continued to speak in their own dialects. By the mid-20th century, such dialects were forced out with the introduction of the compulsory education system that was established by the Soviet government. Despite the formalization of standard Russian, some non-standard dialectal features such as fricative in southern Russian dialects are still observed in colloquial speech. Topic. Geographic distribution Topic. In 2010, there were 259.8 million speakers of Russian in the world, in Russia 137.5 million, in the CIS and Baltic countries 93.7 million, in Eastern Europe 12.9 million, Western Europe 7.3 million, Asia 2.7 million, Middle East and North Africa 1.3 million, Sub-Saharan Africa 0.1 million, Latin America 0.2 million, US, Canada, Australia and New Zealand 4.1 million speakers. Therefore, the Russian language is the seventh largest in the world by number of speakers, after English, Mandarin, Hindi Urdu, Spanish, and Arabic. Russian is one of the six official languages of the United Nations. Education in Russian is still a popular choice for both Russian as a second language RSL and native speakers in Russia as well as many of the former Soviet republics. Russian is still seen as an important language for children to learn in most of the former Soviet republics. Samuel P. Huntington wrote in The Clash of Civilizations, "...during the heyday of the Soviet Union, Russian was the lingua franca from Prague to Hanoi." Europe In Belarus, Russian is co-official alongside Belarusian per the Constitution of Belarus, 77% of the population was fluent in Russian in 2006, and 67% used it as the main language with family, friends, or at work. In Estonia, Russian is spoken by 29.6% of the population according to a 2011 estimate from the World Factbook, and is officially considered a foreign language. In Latvia, Russian is officially considered a foreign language. 55% of the population was fluent in Russian in 2006, and 26% used it as the main language with family, friends, or at work. On 18 February 2012, Latvia held a constitutional referendum on whether to adopt Russian as a second official language. According to the Central Election Commission, 74.8% voted against, 24.9% voted for, and the voter turnout was 71.1%. In Lithuania, Russian is not official, but it still retains the function of a lingua franca. In contrast to the other two Baltic states, Lithuania has a relatively small Russian speaking minority, 5.0% as of 2008. In Moldova, Russian is considered to be the language of inter ethnic communication under a Soviet era law. 50% of the population was fluent in Russian in 2006, and 19% used it as the main language with family, friends, or at work. According to the 2010 census in Russia, Russian language skills were indicated by 138 million people, 99.4% of the population, while according to the 2002 census, 142.6 million people, 99.2% of the population. In Ukraine, Russian is seen as a language of inter-ethnic communication and a minority language language, under the 1996 Constitution of Ukraine. According to estimates from Demoskop Weekly, in 2004 there were 14,400,000 native speakers of Russian in the country, and 29 million active speakers. 
65% of the population was fluent in Russian in 2006, and 38% used it as the main language with family, friends, or at work. In the 20th century, Russian was a mandatory language taught in the schools of the members of the old Warsaw Pact and in other countries that used to be satellites of the USSR. According to the Eurobarometer 2005 survey, fluency in Russian remains fairly high 20 to 40% in some countries, in particular those where the people speak a Slavic language and thereby have an edge in learning Russian namely, Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia, and Bulgaria. Significant Russian-speaking groups also exist in Western Europe. These have been fed by several waves of immigrants since the beginning of the 20th century, each with its own flavor of language. The United Kingdom, Germany, Finland, Spain, Portugal, France, Italy, Belgium, Greece, Norway, and Austria have significant Russian-speaking communities. Asia in Armenia, Russian has no official status, but it is recognized as a minority language under the Framework Convention for the Protection of National Minorities. 30% of the population was fluent in Russian in 2006, and 2% used it as the main language with family, friends, or at work. In Azerbaijan, Russian has no official status, but is a lingua franca of the country. 26% of the population was fluent in Russian in 2006, and 5% used it as the main language with family, friends, or at work. In China, Russian has no official status, but it is spoken by the small Russian communities in the northeastern Heilongjiang province. In Georgia, Russian has no official status, but it is recognized as a minority language under the Framework Convention for the Protection of National Minorities. Russian is the language of 9% of the population according to the World Factbook. Ethnologue cites Russian as the country's de facto working language. In Kazakhstan, Russian is not a state language, but according to Article 7 of the Constitution of Kazakhstan, its usage enjoys equal status to that of the Kazakh language in state and local administration. The 2009 census reported that 10,309,500 people, or 84.8% .8 of the population aged 15 and above, could read and write well in Russian, as well as understand the spoken language. In Kyrgyzstan, Russian is an official language per Article 5 of the Constitution of Kyrgyzstan. The 2009 census states that 482,200 people speak Russian as a native language, or 8.99% of the population. Additionally, 1,854,700 residents of Kyrgyzstan aged 15 and above fluently speak Russian as a second language, or 49.6% of the population in the age group. In Tajikistan, Russian is the language of inter ethnic communication under the Constitution of Tajikistan and is permitted in official documentation. 28% of the population was fluent in Russian in 2006, and 7% used it as the main language with family, friends, or at work. The World Factbook notes that Russian is widely used in government and business. In Turkmenistan, Russian lost its status as the official lingua franca in 1996. Russian is spoken by 12% of the population according to an undated estimate from the World Factbook. In Uzbekistan, Russian has some official roles, being permitted in official documentation and as the lingua franca of the country and the language of the elite. Russian is spoken by 14.2% of the population according to an undated estimate from the World Factbook. In 2005, Russian was the most widely taught foreign language in Mongolia, and was compulsory in year 7 onward as a second foreign language in 2006. Russian is also spoken in Israel. The number of native Russian speaking Israelis numbers around 1.5 million Israelis. The Israeli press and websites regularly publish material in Russian. With Israel Plus, there is an Israeli TV channel mainly broadcasting in Russian. See also Russian language in Israel. Russian is also spoken as a second language by a small number of people in Afghanistan. North America the language was first introduced in North America when Russian explorers voyaged into Alaska and claimed it for Russia during the 18th century. Although most Russian colonists left after the United States bought the land in 1867, a handful stayed and preserved the Russian language in this region to this day, although only a few elderly speakers of this unique dialect are left. 
Sizable Russian speaking communities also exist in North America, especially in large urban centers of the U.S. and Canada, such as New York City, Philadelphia, Boston, Los Angeles, Nashville, San Francisco, Seattle, Spokane, Toronto, Baltimore, Miami, Chicago, Denver, and Cleveland. In a number of locations, they issue their own newspapers and live in ethnic enclaves, especially the generation of immigrants who started arriving in the early 1960s. Only about 25% of them are ethnic Russians, however. Before the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the overwhelming majority of Russophones in Brighton Beach, Brooklyn in New York City were Russian-speaking Jews. Afterward, the influx from the countries of the former Soviet Union changed the statistics somewhat, with ethnic Russians and Ukrainians immigrating along with some more Russian Jews and Central Asians. According to the United States Census, in 2007 Russian was the primary language spoken in the homes of over 850,000 individuals living in the United States. As an international language Topic. Russian is one of the official languages or has similar status and interpretation must be provided into Russian of the following The Russian language is also one of two official languages aboard the International Space Station. NASA astronauts who serve alongside Russian cosmonauts usually take Russian language courses. This practice goes back to the Apollo Soyuz mission, which first flew in 1975. In March 2013 it was announced that Russian is now the second most used language on the Internet after English. People use the Russian language on 5.9% of all websites, slightly ahead of German and far behind English 54.7%. Russian is used not only on 89.8% .8 of RU sites, but also on 88.7% of sites with the former Soviet Union domain, SU. The websites of former Soviet Union nations also use high levels of Russian, 79.0% in Ukraine, 86.9% in Belarus, 84.0% in Kazakhstan, 79.6% in Uzbekistan, 75.9% in Kyrgyzstan and 81.8% in Tajikistan. However, Russian is the sixth most used language on the top 1,000 sites, behind English, Chinese, French, German and Japanese. Dialects Russian is a rather homogeneous language, in terms of dialectal variation, due to the early political centralization under Moscow's rule, compulsory education, mass migration from rural to urban areas in the 20th century, as well as other factors. The standard language is used in written and spoken form almost everywhere in the country, from Kaliningrad and St. Petersburg in the west to Vladivostok and Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky in the east, notwithstanding the enormous distance in between. Despite leveling after 1900, especially in matters of vocabulary and phonetics, a number of dialects still exist in Russia. Some linguists divide the dialects of Russian into two primary regional groupings, northern and southern, with Moscow lying on the zone of transition between the two. Others divide the language into three groupings, northern, central or middle and southern, with Moscow lying in the central region. All dialects also divided in two main chronological categories, the dialects of primary formation the territory of the Eastern Rus or Muscovy, roughly consists of the modern central and northwestern federal districts, and secondary formation other territory. Dialectology within Russia recognizes dozens of smaller scale variants. The dialects often show distinct and non-standard features of pronunciation and intonation, vocabulary and grammar. Some of these are relics of ancient usage now completely discarded by the standard language. The northern Russian dialects and those spoken along the Volga River typically pronounce unstressed, o, oh, clearly, a phenomenon called okanye. Besides the absence of vowel reduction, some dialects have high or diphthongal, ei, in the place of Proto-Slavic asterisk e and ou, in stressed closed syllables as in Ukrainian instead of standard Russian, e, and o. An interesting morphological feature is a postposed definite article to, ta, te similarly to that existing in Bulgarian and Macedonian, in the southern Russian dialects, instances of unstressed, e, and, a, following palatalized consonants and preceding a stressed syllable are not reduced to, as occurs in the Moscow dialect, being instead pronounced, a, in such positions, e.g. Nestle is pronounced, an a s l i, not, an, l i, this is called yakanye. Consonants include a fricative, 
a semivowel, w, u, and x, x, v, x, w, whereas the standard and northern dialects have the consonants v, and final l, and f, respectively. The morphology features a palatalized final t in third person forms of verbs, this is unpalatalized in the standard and northern dialects. Some of these features, such as akanye and yakanye, a debuccalized or lenited a semivowel, w, u, and palatalized final t in third person forms of verbs are also present in modern Belarusian and some dialects of Ukrainian Eastern Polesian, indicating a linguistic continuum. The city of Veliky Novgorod has historically displayed a feature called chokanye or sokanye, cocaine or cocaine, in which and ts were switched or merged. So heron has been recorded as kapla. Also, the second palatalization of velars did not occur there, so the so-called e squared from the Proto-Slavic diphthong asterisk i did not cause k x to shift to t s d z s. Therefore, where standard Russian has sep chan, the form kep k e p is attested in earlier texts. Among the first to study Russian dialects was Lomonosov in the 18th century. In the 19th, Vladimir Dahl compiled the first dictionary that included dialectal vocabulary. Detailed mapping of Russian dialects began at the turn of the 20th century. In modern times, the monumental dialectological atlas of the Russian language Dialectologicheskij atlas Ruskogo Azika dl Kate Itzik J. Ats Rusk J. Ska, was published in three folio volumes 1986-1989, after four decades of preparatory work. Topic. Derived languages Topic. Balochka, a dialect, spoken in Krasnodar region, Don, Kuban and Terek, brought by relocated Cossacks in 1793 and is based on southwest Ukrainian dialect. During Russification of aforementioned regions in 1920s to 1950s it was forcefully replaced by Russian language, however is still sometimes used even in media. Fenya, a criminal argo of ancient origin, with Russian grammar, but with distinct vocabulary Medni Aleut language, a nearly extinct mixed language spoken on Bering Island that is characterized by its Aleut nouns and Russian verbs Padonkovsky jargon, a slang language developed by Padonki of Runet Qualia, a macaronic language with Russian-derived basic structure and part of the lexicon mainly nouns and verbs borrowed from German Runglish, a Russian-English pidgin this word is also used by English speakers to describe the way in which Russians attempt to speak English using Russian morphology and or syntax. Russinorsk, an extinct pidgin language with mostly Russian vocabulary and mostly Norwegian grammar, used for communication between Russians and Norwegian traders in the Pomor trade in Finnmark and the Kola Peninsula. Trazianka, a heavily Russified variety of Belarusian used by a large portion of the rural population in Belarus. Tamir Pidgin Russian, spoken by the Nanasin on the Tamir Peninsula Topic. Alphabet Topic. Russian is written using a Cyrillic alphabet. The Russian alphabet consists of 33 letters. The following table gives their upper case forms, along with IPA values for each letter's typical sound. Older letters of the Russian alphabet include which merge to e, z, or e, i, and which both merge to i, i, which merge to f, f, which merge to u, u, which merge to u, ju, or u, and and which later were graphically reshaped into a and merged phonetically to ya or a. While these older letters have been abandoned at one time or another, they may be used in this and related articles. The yours and originally indicated the pronunciation of ultra short or reduced u, i. Topic. Transliteration Topic. Because of many technical restrictions in computing and also because of the unavailability of Cyrillic keyboards abroad, Russian is often transliterated using the Latin alphabet. For example, frost is transliterated moroz, and ms. mouse, mish or ms. single quote dot. Once commonly used by the majority of those living outside Russia, transliteration is being used less frequently by Russian-speaking typists in favor of the extension of Unicode character encoding, which fully incorporates the Russian alphabet. 
Free programs leveraging this Unicode extension are available which allow users to type Russian characters, even on Western QWERTY keyboards. Computing The Russian alphabet has many systems of character encoding. KOI-8R was designed by the Soviet government and was intended to serve as the standard encoding. This encoding was and still is widely used in Unix-like operating systems. Nevertheless, the spread of MS-DOS and OS-2 IBM 866, traditional Macintosh ISO, IEC 8859-5 and Microsoft Windows CP1251 created chaos and ended by establishing different encodings as de facto standards, with Windows 1251 becoming a de facto standard in Russian Internet and email communication during the period of roughly 1995-2005. All the obsolete 8-bit encodings are rarely used in the communication protocols and text exchange data formats, having been mostly replaced with UTF-8. A number of encoding conversion applications were developed. ICONV is an example that is supported by most versions of Linux, Macintosh and some other operating systems, but converters are rarely needed unless accessing texts created more than a few years ago. In addition to the modern Russian alphabet, Unicode and thus UTF-8 encodes the early Cyrillic alphabet which is very similar to the Greek alphabet, as well as all other Slavic and non-Slavic but Cyrillic-based alphabets. Orthography <inaudible> 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 Russian spelling is reasonably phonemic in practice. It is in fact a balance among phonemics, morphology, etymology, and grammar, and, like that of most living languages, has its share of inconsistencies and controversial points. A number of rigid spelling rules introduced between the 1880s and 1910s have been responsible for the former whilst trying to eliminate the latter. The current spelling follows the major reform of 1918, and the final codification of 1956. An update proposed in the late 1990s has met a hostile reception, and has not been formally adopted. The punctuation, originally based on Byzantine Greek, was in the 17th and 18th centuries reformulated on the French and German models. According to the Institute of Russian Language of the Russian Academy of Sciences, an optional acute accent may, and sometimes should, be used to mark stress. For example, it is used to distinguish between otherwise identical words, especially when context does not make it obvious. Zamek zamek lock, castle, stoagege stoagege, worthwhile, standing, kudno kudno, this is odd, this is marvelous, molodek molodek, attaboy, fine young man, uzna uzna, I shall learn it, I recognize it, otrezit otrezit, to be cutting. To have cut. To indicate the proper pronunciation of uncommon words, especially personal and family names, afera guru Garcia Olesa Fermi and to show which is the stressed word in a sentence. Tai selpasin. Tai selpasin. Tai selpasin. Was it you who ate the cookie? Did you eat the cookie? Was it the cookie that you ate? Stress marks are mandatory in lexical dictionaries and books for children or Russian learners. Topic. Phonology Topic. The phonological system of Russian is inherited from common Slavonic, it underwent considerable modification in the early historical period before being largely settled around the year 1400. The language possesses five vowels or six, under the St. Petersburg Phonological School, which are written with different letters depending on whether the preceding consonant is palatalized. The consonants typically come in plain versus palatalized pairs, which are traditionally called hard and soft. The hard consonants are often velarized, especially before front vowels, as in Irish. The standard language, based on the Moscow dialect, possesses heavy stress and moderate variation in pitch. Stressed vowels are somewhat lengthened, while unstressed vowels tend to be reduced to near close vowels or an unclear schwa. See also, vowel reduction in Russian. The Russian syllable structure can be quite complex, with both initial and final consonant clusters of up to four consecutive sounds. Using a formula with V standing for the nucleus vowel and C for each consonant, the structure can be described as follows C C C C V C C C C 
Clusters of four consonants are not very common, however, especially within a morpheme. Some examples are visglad vzgl at glance, gosuder stevie gs darst f of the states, stroidal stevie str at lstf of the constructions. Topic: Consonants. Topic: Russian is notable for its distinction based on palatalization of most of the consonants. While k, x do have palatalized allophones, k, x only k might be considered a phoneme, though it is marginal and generally not considered distinctive. The only native minimal pair that argues for k being a separate phoneme is a to ket tk. It weaves a tot cot cot. This cat. Palatalization means that the center of the tongue is raised during and after the articulation of the consonant. In the case of t and d, the tongue is raised enough to produce slight frication. Affricate sounds cf. Belarusian c, dz or Polish c, dz. The sounds t, d, ts, s, z, n, r are dental, that is, pronounced with the tip of the tongue against the teeth rather than against the alveolar ridge. Grammar Topic. Russian has preserved an Indo-European synthetic inflectional structure, although considerable leveling has taken place. Russian grammar encompasses a highly fusional morphology, a syntax that, for the literary language, is the conscious fusion of three elements, a polished vernacular foundation, a church Slavonic inheritance, a Western European style, the spoken language has been influenced by the literary one but continues to preserve characteristic forms. The dialects show various non-standard grammatical features, some of which are archaisms or descendants of old forms since discarded by the literary language. The Church Slavonic language was introduced to Moscovy in the late 15th century and was adopted as official language for correspondence for convenience. Firstly with the newly conquered southwestern regions of former Kievan Rus and Grand Duchy of Lithuania, later, when Moscovy cut its ties with the Golden Horde, for communication between all newly consolidated regions of Moscovy. In terms of actual grammar, there are three tenses in Russian, past, present and future, and each verb has two aspects, perfective and imperfective. Russian nouns each have a gender, either feminine, masculine or neutral, indicated by spelling at the end of the word. Words change depending on both their gender and function in the sentence. Russian has six cases, nominative for the subject of the sentence, accusative for direct objects, dative for indirect objects, genitive to indicate possession, instrumental to indicate with or by means of, and prepositional used after a preposition. Verbs of motion in Russian, such as go, walk, run, swim, and fly. Use the imperfective or perfective form to indicate a single or return trip, and also use a multitude of prefixes to add more meaning to the verb. Vocabulary See History of the Russian language for an account of the successive foreign influences on Russian. The number of listed words or entries in some of the major dictionaries published during the past two centuries, and the total vocabulary of Alexander Pushkin, who is credited with greatly augmenting and codifying literary Russian, are as follows. Topic. History and examples Topic. The history of Russian language may be divided into the following periods. Kievan period and feudal breakup The Moscow period 15th-17th centuries Standard national language judging by the historical records by approximately 1000 AD the predominant ethnic group over much of modern European Russia Ukraine and Belarus was the eastern branch of the Slavs speaking a closely related group of dialects the political unification of this region into Kievan Rus in about 880, from which modern Russia, Ukraine and Belarus trace their origins, established Old East Slavic as a literary and commercial language. It was soon followed by the adoption of Christianity in 988 and the introduction of the South Slavic Old Church Slavonic as the liturgical and official language. Borrowings and calques from Byzantine Greek began to enter the Old East Slavic and spoken dialects at this time, which in their turn modified the Old Church Slavonic as well. 
Dialectal differentiation accelerated after the breakup of Kievan Rus in approximately 1100. On the territories of modern Belarus and Ukraine emerged Ruthenian and in modern Russia medieval Russian. They became distinct since the 13th century, i.e. following the division of that land between the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, Poland and Hungary in the West and independent Novgorod and Pskov feudal republics plus numerous small duchies which came to be vassals of the Tatars in the East. The official language in Moscow and Novgorod, and later, in the growing Muscovy, was Church Slavonic, which evolved from Old Church Slavonic and remained the literary language for centuries, until the Petrine Age, when its usage became limited to biblical and liturgical texts. Russian developed under a strong influence of Church Slavonic until the close of the 17th century, afterward the influence reversed, leading to corruption of liturgical texts. The political reforms of Peter the Great, Petr Velikij Pyotr Veliki were accompanied by a reform of the alphabet, and achieved their goal of secularization and westernization. Blocks of specialized vocabulary were adopted from the languages of Western Europe. By 1800, a significant portion of the gentry spoke French daily, and German sometimes. Many Russian novels of the 19th century, e.g. Leo Tolstoy's Lev Tolstoy War and Peace contain entire paragraphs and even pages in French with no translation given, with an assumption that educated readers would not need one. The modern literary language is usually considered to date from the time of Alexander Pushkin, Alexander Pushkin in the first third of the 19th century. Pushkin revolutionized Russian literature by rejecting archaic grammar and vocabulary, so-called Vysokij still, high style in favor of grammar and vocabulary found in the spoken language of the time. Even modern readers of younger age may only experience slight difficulties understanding some words in Pushkin's texts, since relatively few words used by Pushkin have become archaic or changed meaning. In fact, many expressions used by Russian writers of the early 19th century, in particular Pushkin, Mikhail Lermontov, Mikhail Lermontov, Nikolai Gogol, Nikolai Gogol, Alexander Griboyadov, Alexander Gribodov became proverbs or sayings which can be frequently found even in modern Russian colloquial speech. The political upheavals of the early 20th century and the wholesale changes of political ideology gave written Russian its modern appearance after the spelling reform of 1918. Political circumstances and Soviet accomplishments in military, scientific and technological matters especially cosmonautics, gave Russian a worldwide prestige, especially during the mid-20th century. During the Soviet period, the policy toward the languages of the various other ethnic groups fluctuated in practice. Though each of the constituent republics had its own official language, the unifying role and superior status was reserved for Russian, although it was declared the official language only in 1990. Following the breakup of the USSR in 1991, several of the newly independent states have encouraged their native languages, which has partly reversed the privileged status of Russian, though its role as the language of post-Soviet national discourse throughout the region has continued. The Russian language in the world declined after 1991 due to the collapse of the Soviet Union and decrease in the number of Russians in the world and diminution of the total population in Russia where Russian is an official language, however this has since been reversed. According to figures published in 2006 in the journal, Demoscope Weekly, Research Deputy Director of Research Center for Sociological Research of the Ministry of Education and Science Russia Arafiev AL, the Russian language is gradually losing its position in the world in general, and in Russia in particular. In 2012, AL Arafiev published a new study, Russian language at the turn of the 20th-21 stone centuries in which he confirmed his conclusion about the trend of weakening of the Russian language after the Soviet Union's collapse in various regions of the world findings published in 2013 in the journal Demoscope Weekly. In the countries of the former Soviet Union the Russian language was being replaced or used in conjunction with local languages. Currently the number speakers of Russian language in the world depends on the number of Russians in the world and total population in Russia. Topic. See also Topic. List of English words of Russian origin List of Russian language topics List of territorial entities where Russian is an official language Slavic Voice of America Computer Russification Topic. 
References Bibliography External links The Dictionary Definition of Appendix, Russian Swadesh List at Wiktionary, Oxford Dictionaries, Russian Dictionary, Russian Language at Curlie, USA Foreign Service Institute Russian Basic Course, Free English to Russian Translation, Translation of Russian Expressions and Phrases, Russian YouTube Playlist of mostly half hour long video lessons from Dallas Schools Television. Free online Russian language wiki translate video course Nationalnij Corpus Ruskogo Azika National Corpus of the Russian Language in Russian Russian Language Institute Language Regulator of the Russian Language in Russian Top 7 foreign universities where studied Russian language